St. Lucia is gearing up for an exciting summer, signaled by the Whitsuntide weekend, an unofficial start to the summer for St. Lucia, with British Courier UTI's return to the destination. The weekend also brought more optimism that St. Lucia's tourism sector will continue along a steady trajectory. With the official reopening of several accommodation providers, including Body Holiday St. Lucia, East Winds and Royalton Resorts and the welcoming of some 2,300 visitors to the destination. Increased airlift during the summer from St. Lucia's main source markets has increased occupancy levels for several accommodation providers, which is vital for the continued revival of the tourism sector. Jerrine Georges is the St. Lucia Tourism Authority's public relations manager. Several accommodation providers are reporting increased levels of occupancy during the summer and internationally there are added gateways to St. Lucia that will open up as of the 5th of June. And so we will see the introduction of an inaugural service from Dallas and the return of American Airlines service from New York after more than a decade. Also on July 1st, we will welcome JetBlue from New Jersey. And so um, these are all part of the excitement that we're building up for the summer. And um, thereafter, we expect international markets, including Canada, to open up in the weeks ahead. Minister for Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries, Honorable Dominic Fady, stated that he is happy that the tourism sector is on a rebound, which can only go well for more jobs, business linkages, and more revenue. He expressed optimism about the start of what is projecting to be an exciting summer which means that hundreds more of tourism employees will likely return to work, noting that several taxi drivers, tour guides, vendors, and others have been disadvantaged amid the pandemic. The SLTA has reaffirmed its commitment to ensuring the successful rebound of the tourism sector and the return of the industry workers to gainful employment. Um, we are very happy to see that tourism is pretty much on the rebound and um, this augurs well for more jobs, our business linkages and more revenue. We are also optimistic um, that the summer is projecting to be very exciting and that means a lot more of the tourism employees can return to work. We know that several have been disadvantaged amid the pandemic and together we want to ensure that we can restore um, St. Lucia's tourism product. And so the SLT continues with its marketing efforts in terms of um, ensuring that St. Lucia is highlighted and really done so strategically within its, its source markets. And um, we just hosted our global virtual roadshow. And right now we're focusing on the virtual North American roadshow, really um, engaging with our targeted audience. Um, we also just participated in a recent CHD Caribbean Travel Marketplace 39, and we're looking forward to reaping the benefits for the destination from these, these engagements. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority continues to place special focus on key areas within major source markets of the USA, UK, Canada, the Caribbean, and Asia in reaping fruitful benefits for the destination. From the Government Information Service, Hilma Mark reporting.